So you're trying to solve a system of equations. There's actually three methods for solving systems of equations. Two of those are linked in the description below. And if you need to set up a system of equations from a word problem, you can find that right here. In this video, though, we are going to look at solving by substitution, which is where we're combining equations into one equation. What's up, y'all? I'm Tom. This is Like a Math Class. Let's get to substitution. Now, when we're solving systems by substitution, we really want to look for two qualities in our equations. The first one is to substitute one equation into another. And we know that that's going to happen if we can find a variable that is all by itself, which means it does not have a coefficient attached to it. The other situation that you want to look for is when you can easily isolate the same variable in both equations. So in this case, we can see that here we've already have y isolated by itself with no coefficients in front of it. So let's start with this one over here. We want to try and get y by itself. These two equations are going to share the same point. So at that point, both the y's and the x's will be exactly the same. Now the whole point behind this is that where these two lines meet, wherever they meet, the y values for both equations will be the same and the x values for both equations will be the same. So if we can find the y or the x by itself, then we can take that and say, well, that's the same thing as this other one. So if we can find our y value by itself, we know that this y is the exact same thing as this y here. So what I want to do is I want to get this y by itself. So I'm just going to subtract 2x from both sides. So now I've got 5 minus 2x. So now that I've got this equation here, I can substitute this into here because, as I just mentioned, this y is the same thing as this y. So now we can have 4x minus 3 times 5 minus 2x, and that's going to equal negative 10. Now all I have to do is start uh, doing my order of operations and start uh, rearranging and solving, and we are going to be good to go. So we've got minus 15 plus 6x equals negative 10. We've got 10x minus 15 equals negative 10. Adding 15 to both sides, we're, we're left with 10x equals 5. And when we divide by 10, that we can now see that x is equal to 5 over 10 or 1 half. Now, what do we do with that 1 half? Now we need to see what is the y value. So we can do this in one of two ways. We can substitute this, this x into this first equation, or we can substitute it into the second equation. So if we put it into the first equation, that will be 4 times 1 half minus 3y equals negative 10. So 4 times 1 half is 2 minus 3y equals negative 10. Subtract 2, so I get negative 3y equals negative 12, and divide by negative 3, y equals 4. So I see that I've got uh, 1 half and 4. Now, as I mentioned, we could also do this in the other equation. So we could have also done 2 times 1 half plus y equals 5. 2 times 1 half is 1 plus y equals 5. Subtract 1 from both sides and y equals 4. So here's our, our point of intersection is going to be 1 half and 4. Now what happens if we've got two equations where, where we've got the same variable with no coefficient? Or I should say a coefficient of 1. Well, just like before, if y equals this and y equals this, then these two things equal each other because they are crossing at the same point and our x values will end up being the same and the y values will end up being the same. So let's call this equation blue and let's call this equation purple. I'm going to just say that since, again, since y is equal to this and y is equal to this, then this is equal to this. So I have 2 minus 2x is equal to 6x minus 18. All right, well, let's add 2x to both sides. 2 equals 8x minus 18. Add 18 to both sides. So now we've got 20 equals 8x. Divide both sides by 8, and we can see that x equals 
2.5. Just like before, I'm gonna take this 2.5 and I can put it into either equation to solve. So let's do that. With our first equation, we have y equals two minus two times 2.5, then y is gonna equal two minus five, and y is gonna ultimately end up equaling minus three. If we wanna put it into the purple equation, then we'll have y equals six times 2.5 minus 18, y equals 6, point, 6 times 2.5 is 15 minus 18, so y equals negative 3. So here is the solution to this problem, 2.5 and negative 3. Now keep in mind, you don't have to substitute it into both equations. However, it's always good practice because if you made a computational mistake in your initial finding of the x, uh, what will happen is when you plug it into one equation, you'll get one value, and when you plug it into the other equation, you'll get a different value. So you'll know you've made a mistake. But uh, if you are confident in your work and you just put it into one of the equations, you'll get that value out and you've got your solutions. I hope that was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.